Welcome in my second uh, MeshQ product uh, introductory video. I like to uh, show you my my new thing, which is the composite node group. Uh, first, we need to go to our uh, scene panel and in the passes we need to mm, enable render passes so diffuse uh, glossy transmission subsurface volume and additional of course if you need uh, object index material index uv vector normal passes and uh, also if you need shadow and ao emission and environment i have all of them uh, enabled. Now we need to place our MeshQ composite node group. Yes, it is a little bit long uh, node group, but it needs to be like this. Now just connect the combined to our viewer and to composite and start connecting the render passes. So, diffuse direct, diffuse indirect, and diffuse a color. As you can see, we have a great preview of how the actual render passes uh, are looking combined. Now, glossy direct, glossy indirect, and glossy color. And next are the transparent, direct, indirect, and color, but we do not have here the transparent uh, objects. Or we have, yes, a little bit this battle. So this is how you connect this. Here is the subsurface scattering. Mm inputs but we do not have subsurface scattering or volumetrics but I think we have the emit pass so yes emission pass and if we like to have more ambient occlusion well maybe not that more we can also plug it here at the bottom and uh, choose how much to affect uh, our image by this slider. And of course we have some other little sliders for our uh, passes. So here the first uh, beneath the render pass name we have an amount slider which uh, just how it is the value of how much you like to mix this pass with rest of the passes so now i am mixing just uh, half of the uh, diffuse direct um, intensity so this is without this is something like that here we can change a little bit the hue, saturation and value and uh, here at the bottom we can put the uh, masks, the same for any other render passes. So here is the indirect pass of the diffuse. As you can see, we can low it if we like. And here is the diffusion, diffusion color. So basically we can change here the hue, but it will not work that great because we need to mask, mask it. Of course we can use uh, our index uh, or object or material passes but it will not work that great 
but it is achievable so uh, for this we need to change the hue for the diffuse color and from the glossiness indirect and also for the diffuser indirect and now well we have changed the uh, colors of the objects but this is not working that great because uh, we like to have this bamboo to be green so we need to use um, here the index pass well this is not for, for, for changing colors this is just to have all of the job done in one node and this can be used this hue value just a little not too much so let's go back to 0.5 and yeah and that will be all for this uh, little introduction for this node this can be colorized but basically this is a node where you connect just one input and you get the output of all of the passes and of course you can adjust them as you will uh, normally do by manually uh, combining uh, the passes and of course you can put something uh, here like for example um, RGB curves nodes so as you can see you you are not wasting that much of time when using this and not uh, playing with all the mixing um, when combining passes so and of course you can you can buy it at uh, my Gumroad site so please uh, take a look and if you need it you can buy it on my Gumroad thank you for your patience